It can be confusing, but in order to experience it, you don't need to understand it at all. It's kind of like how you can get hit by a car without understanding the internal combustion engine. Or kind of like how you can get struck by lightning without having a basic understanding of meteorology or the fundamentals of quantum electrodynamics. You just don't need to know what the fuck is going on. But sometimes, when I'm in love, and right now, as a matter of fact, I'm in love, I do seek to understand the nature of love. I want to know what love is. Now, some would say that love is nothing but some hormonal emissions stimulating a gray lump of fatty acids inside your skull called your brain. That would be the scientific description. Some say that love is a chemical inducement to affect our reproductive or recreative fusion. It arose like other functions in the course of evolution. Survival of the fittest fit my pin inside your cushion. A mixture of hormones to motivate pressing one vessel of flesh into another. And it's pleasant. Adrenaline and estrogen in exquisite intersection and then some serotonin, oxytocin, and vasopressin. Did their cock make an impression? Has their tail a real figure? That's the cocktail splashing through your neurotransmitter. That orgasm you're given or that of which you're the giver that's epinephrine, your glycogenic degradation inhibitor and then a tilt of serotonin makes you feel you're in a bubble and a bump of oxytocin makes you always want to cuddle it's the very same stuff that makes the baby's mother supple little milk spigot suckable to the infant's hungry muzzle and i get all that but what the fuck's that mean that's how love works but what is love's being what my love is is what i ask of it mariah carey i want to know what love is Some would say that love is much more than that. Some would say that love is the actualization and fulfillment of all human purpose, and that which binds us together in our unified quest to manifest the divine. For instance, platonic love. Now usually when we say platonic love, we mean I love you, but I don't want to fuck you. But Plato himself, back in the 5th to 4th centuries BCE, had something different in mind. He thought there was an actual connection between God and sex. A connection between the desire to get down on your knees to suck a dick or lick a trembling clitoris, and to get down on your knees to motherfucking pray. Some say that love is how you grow one with God. When you find that special someone and they're so fucking hot, it stirs in you a feeling that will lead you to the thought that all things are divine whether you find them hot or not. You love that person, you tell them, they're flattered, but then you start to contemplate the shape and formal pattern of their loveliness. And above this, you begin to also after feel a love for all objects, even inanimate matter. So you started off wanting to squish your junk in someone else's, but melted by that force, your selfish self becomes more selfless. To your selfhood is absorbed into the pulse that all things swell with. You feel a sense of love for other people, goats and elephants and car parts and slime molds and shipping crates and sediment, mountains, grass, amiibos, edifices and elements. And having loved all things based on the sensory evidence, you start to love the force behind that binds them in their essences. And I get all that. But what the fuck's that mean? That's where love leads. But what is love's being? What my love is, is what I ask of it. Mariah Carey, I want to know what love is. But some say that love is a vacuous illusion, at the very worst a madness, at the very best a nuisance, and imaginative actors and poets have used it to distract the day's masses from what the actual truth is, and that very same distraction has lately been modified to be easily packaged, commodified, and monetized, marketed to court our poor hearts into costly lies, and Hallmark cards, hookup bars, and porno stars wanton eyes. But some say that love is the absolute ultimate, that which holds the world above the cusp of unutterable nothingness, while others say it's chance, a chaos that becomes a kiss, just another accident of tits vaginas, butts, and dicks, but some say it's a battlefield, and some have lacked an armory, and some say it's agony, and some say it's all you need, and some say love's in each thing, the magic and the truth in it, while others have asked, what's love got to do with it? But whether love is in God or in neurochemical stuff, all I know about it is that I know that I love. I love, and I love love, and I cannot more describe it, and I want to know what love is, like Foreigner or Mariah. I want to know what love is. I want you to show me